like I said before, guys, we're going to be painting Hunter's trunk. And spoiler, the spoiler is already pretty good right now. It's in here. Just needs to have a, a wet sand and a coat of clear put on it. We'll put it in there so it didn't get any dust on it. That's going to be, if you're not already familiar with the Subi, that's going to be for this Subi. So we're going to have black trunk, black roof, black hood. Uh, the rest of it's going to be the dark blue, which is going to be pretty cool. We are actually stepping up our painting game. And I know this Harbor Freight stuff, but still, I've been more of a rattle can type of painter all my life. Never had the good stuff, or at least the proper stuff, HPL or H, uh, VLP guns and such. But we ended up getting uh, some cups for it, a whole cleaning kit, a new sprayer with a regulator on it, which actually for 20 bucks is not bad, that's for sure. And then some strainers for the paint. And I uh, went ahead and picked up some paint. Gonna try this out. This is actually from uh, AutoZone. It's a duplicolor called Paint Shop. It's like a no mix type of paint ready to use. It's got the catalyst in it and everything. And then I've got some. Uh, some gloss clear as well. Now, like I said before, the trunk is actually going to be painted in this because we're going to try out this new turbo uh, Rust-Oleum turbo can, which is flipping huge. Let me grab a can of regular here to show you how big <laughs> this can is. It is ridiculously big compared to a normal one. Now these cans cost ten dollars each. You can get pick them up at uh, I know Home Depot has them. That's where I got mine. They come in black and white, and that's about it. So um, if you want to paint in that color, then that's the paint that you'd want to go with. But this thing has up to a ten inch spray to it. So whereas a normal paint, a normal rattle can will have a a spot probably about like this. This one here will spray this and even more. So it's actually pretty cool. Alright, here goes nothing. Now if you look, this stuff sprays out totally different than a regular than a regular can. It is ridiculous. So we'll see how it goes. That's not good. And that is one coat. That is ridiculous. <laughs> wow. That is that is ridiculous. Okay, first impressions on this turbo paint. It came out real glossy. That's not the problem. Um, there's some junk in it, as you see on the camera. But the biggest thing is right where the first part met the second part. I don't know if you can really see that on camera or not. But there's a big sag right about, right about here. So at that point, that's going to need to be wet sanded and redone. But overall, I mean, it's it's not bad. We're going to try to try to do the hood and see how that turns out. I mean, for a spray can, for literally just spray spray done, it's not bad. Let's see it from this angle here. You can see the light reflection in there. I mean, it's really, really glossy. It's not not bad. It does have some orange peel. If you look in there, I'll try to see if I can zoom in. You can see it on that real easy. There's some orange peel. 
Of course, when this starts to flash off, some of that will go away, but um, we are still planning on clearing this. I'm going to color sand it, clear it with the uh, real clear coat that we have. Not the uh, DupliColor, but I bought some other with the uh, hardener and all that good stuff. And we're going to try our hand in that, but we're going to be uh, going to be working on this hood next. This has actually got, it's all filthy right now, so don't mind that part of it, but it's got uh, oh, probably about three layers of gloss white on it, and as you see on the, the reflections, even being as filthy as this is, and it is filthy, it's still real glossy for what it is. And this is no clear coat or anything, so you wait till this thing's all black. So again, we're going to have the black hood, the black roof, the black trunk, got the black spoiler in there like we saw. The rest of it's going to be this nice blue color. It's going to be kind of interesting. What we're doing here is we're going to just spray the hood with that turbo knowing fully well what kind of issues that we had with the trunk. Um, the trunk is starting to get a little bit better, starting to level out a little bit, um, but we can actually wet sand this. If you notice the light reflection in here, it's actually pretty good. Um, we can wet sand this, color sand it, you know, and then uh, clear it which is what we're going to do because we have this sag on here which I'm going to try to get the light on here see if I can to try to have you see it maybe I can there you can see it yeah right here if you can see that line going across that there you go yeah you can see it right good just right, right here. So what we're going to do is we took the the hood off and we're just going to do a quick and dirty spray on that and then uh, clear it later on. The weather is really really crappy out right now so we're dealing with what we have. It's really raining and it's really not a good not good weather to paint in anyways but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, you see on here, I got a little too heavy at the top, kind of scared me a little. I backed up to get a much lighter coat, and that's what I want. I got a little heavy down there as well. The problem is when I went over on the hood, or on the trunk I should say, it was a little too close, a little too heavy, and it will, it will run and it will sag. This up here is not that way right now. Um, this is actually good, however... I want light coats and I want to do multiple light coats and see if it comes out a little bit better. I'm learning with this stuff, but man, this stuff comes out like a freaking fire hose. So we put another coat on that. So far, no drips. A lot of orange peel, but I can deal with orange peel. It's still flashing off, so we'll see what it looks like. But it's not bad. I gotta get the edges though. I can't use that turbo for the edges. It's just it's too much paint. So for like up here, I don't know if you can see that, but maybe I can get over here. So you can see it, but that little edge right there, how it looks a little white, it is white, so. I don't know. It's kind of like a, a 
learning process with this and then I'm getting ready to just do away with spray cans. They're just too much of a pain. I don't know if I'm getting a little bit of fish eye in there or if that's just, I think that's just flashing off right there, but either way it's going to be wet sanded down anyway, so it don't really matter. Alright, should be able to see this wrinkle a lot better today. Let's see if we can get it on camera. Yeah, right here. We're going to be wet sanding that and trying to get rid of that today. And then hopefully clearing that whole thing. It's actually not bad. I mean, you see the gloss. It's not terrible. Hood's not terrible. Just needs a little bit of work. That's all. Okay, you guys, here's where we stand. Um, did some wet sanding, got the, the run out. Um, then decided to do another coat and try it again with that, with that other stuff. Got a new run. I don't know. Here's the old run. You can see the remnants of it. And it's still still tacky. Here's the new run right above it. Tried to do the the hood as well. But that turbo paint, I mean, it comes out like a freaking fire hose. It's not much control in it. And you can see the run right there. Just tried to get some more coverage on here, but <sighs> now we're back to square one. I'm gonna have to gonna have to wet sand this thing again and try to see what we can do about fixing it. Just gonna end up going to the to the HVLP gun and uh, trying to see what what we can do with that. We gotta we gotta do something. Spray painting is just not working very out very well.